Hey everyone, I have an interesting comparison for you today. What's the best growth stock, Uber or Shopify? I know these two are in different industries. That's what makes this comparison kind of interesting. So let's compare these two growth stocks. I'm going to do them across four financial metrics and I'm going to end with the valuation where I will answer which one is the best one to buy. So let's begin. Uh, looking at revenue growth to begin, Uber has demonstrated better revenue growth since the economic reopening gained momentum, 48.96% in its most recent quarter. Uh, Shopify impressive as well, 25.72% revenue growth despite the economic reopening, despite people spending more money away from home and less money online. Shopify demonstrated impressive revenue growth over the last uh, several quarters. The next thing I wanted to compare these two on is the operating profit margin and I'm going to highlight here what has really turned me off about Shopify stock. Now I was a uh, Shopify stock bull for the longest time until, until management made the decision to invest in to invest billions of dollars in fulfillment and logistics. Up until that point, I was on board with Shopify. I was a Shopify stock owner. Um, but as soon as the company made that shift to saying, hey, you know what, we want to get into fulfillment and logistics, I said, no, thank you. I don't want to be a shareholder if you're going to try and do fulfillment and logistics. And why did I do that? And it's, it's because what I've seen from other companies that dip their toes into shipping and handling and logistics. You know, look at Amazon, for instance, their e-commerce business loses a lot, of, has been losing a lot of money for brief moments. They did make some money in that segment, but for the most part, it loses money or it makes very, very small profit margins. And so I don't want to be an investor in a company that's that's sending billions of dollars in capital investment in an area that has the potential for two or three percent profit margins. That doesn't that doesn't sound like something I want to get into. Not to mention that they're getting into something where Amazon is already competitively dominant. I didn't even begin to mention that part. So all in all, I did not like that change from Shopify. And so when when I noticed that, you know, they made that $2 billion acquisition and they noted that they're going to spend billions of dollars there, I said, no, thank you. And I sold out of my investment. And I've been telling my viewers that and recommending my viewers not buy Shopify stock as a result. And you notice what's happening, right? That you can see the turnaround happening quickly the operating profit margin falling they were very nicely profitable they were making very nice progress and then they made that decision and now their profits are turning negative negative 14.68 percent now in the long run they might prove me wrong and they might turn this business into something incredibly lucrative and i will stand corrected and i will tell you guys hey management did an excellent job with this uh, unlikely business and they did great kudos to them and I might change my mind about the stock but right now I'm not enthusiastic about that investment on the flip side Uber has been doing an incredible job making progress it's still not positive negative 5.75 operating margin but it's making progress on that front which surprises me I don't uh I, I'm not enthusiastic about Uber's business either. I don't see how it can make money on this business by offering rides to people at a price so low that they can't turn a profit on it. And it's not like if they do more of it, it's going to, uh, it's going to uh, leverage their fixed cost, right? Because so much of their expense is variable. When they make a sale, in other words, when they when they get a customer for a ride, they need to pay the driver. With each ride, they need to pay the driver. And so as revenue goes up, their expense goes up. Revenue goes up, expense goes up. So they don't have that leverage across their fixed cost as strongly as I would like to see to be convinced that this operating margin can improve. But looking at the evidence, they are showing progress here 
on this front. They are showing progress in improving its operating profit margin, although it's still negative, and I'm not sure how positive this can go. I don't know what, you know, you know, Uber drivers have a maximum of three seats in their car, so they can have maximum of three riders in the car on every hour that they're on the road, which is unlikely, especially in the most populous cities. I mean, when I take a Uber, I always order a shared Uber, and um, it's not very often that I uh, have two other people in the car with maybe one other person uh, sometimes, but it's been rare where I've had two other people in the car. I don't know if the business will get that popular and that engagement become that high to have that. I don't know, maybe somewhere down the down the line when driverless technology becomes more um, pronounced, maybe Uber can be acquired by one of the companies that has made the, the progress in driverless technologies. Uh, I'm not sure about that one either. The next thing I wanted to look at is the cash flow from operations to sales. And again, you see this from Shopify where those investments decisions have brought down its cash flow from operations after they were doing an incredible job. They had reached all the way up 20% cash flow from operations. I was loving it. And then they made that choice. Um, Uber doing a great job. Again, um, working a... Uh, a business that's tough, tough to turn a profit in and managing positive cash flow from operations of 2%. Again, very tough to turn a profit in the business model that they have chosen. Finally, I wanted to look at valuation comparing these two stocks. Uh, Uber trading at a forward price to sales of 1.46. Shopify trading at a forward price to sales of 7.5. So Shopify is nearly five times as expensive as Uber. Wow. That's a massive premium to Uber. And, you know, I think it's because the market saw what Shopify can do. They know what Shopify is capable of at scale. So they're giving... They're giving this management team credit for incredible performance over the last five, six years. And they're saying, you know what? You've done a really good job with this company. And we're okay with you investing billions of dollars in this new initiative because you've done so good at capital allocation in the past. So we have faith, we have confidence that you're going to do a good job with this. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. And you know what? I agree with I agree with the market. I might not be enthusiastic about this investment in logistics, but Shopify's management team's track record cannot be argued against. They have done an excellent job. And so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt here and say if there was one of these two growth stocks you wanted to buy, I would say Shopify is the best one to buy here. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching.